SNP Glue is an add-on to the SAP NetWeaver stack written in ABAP, which allows users to replicate data from SAP systems directly to tables in Snowflake. You can replicate data from different objects within the ERP, ECC or S4HANA, or from BW or BW4HANA. You can replicate data either from tables, views, ODP sources, extractors, as well as advanced TSOs in BW, as well as cubes or PEX queries. Basically, any object which is manageable within ABAP can be managed via SNP and replicated almost in real time to a Snowflake system. Let's now see how this works in a demo setup from SAP ERP to Snowflake. Within the SAP environment, you will find the SNP Glue menu that is directly accessible from GUI. In this case, I have a few links which are pre-registered and we will see together the cockpit. Within the cockpit, you can monitor the running jobs and the failed jobs, as well as schedule new jobs and design new jobs to replicate data from SAP to Snowflake. We'll go in the object navigator and we will create a new job together. You can see here the different objects. I have templates which are already existing to replicate data from Maha, the table which contains general material data, to Snowflake. I have actually a few tables which are already being replicated from SAP to Snowflake. Let's start here by generating a new job. We'll go into the variants, which are pre-registered templates. And within the variant name, mine is called ZSFP Tables MS. And I already registered it with a few different tables. We don't actually need all the tables, so I will edit this variant. You can see the glue table generation as well as the extractor generation. Uh, let's choose the table. I had three tables generated. I only need MAKT for this job, so I only choose MAKT. I will then choose within the details the package in which the um, tables will be created, as well as uh, the package in which the extractors will be generated, MS Snowflake. And I can choose here the delta type. In this case, I will choose full to replicate the full table. I could choose to have triggers or replication based on date or timestamp or value. Now I will generate the objects within Snowflake. So based on the table in the SAP ERP system, I will replicate the objects within Snowflake. Now in my Snowflake account, within the raw database and the ECC schema, I now have a new object called MAKT with zero rows, zero bytes, and I see that it was just created in Snowflake. Let's go back to the SAP screen. We go back to the first menu. And here we can refresh the menu and we see that within the MS Snowflake folder, a glue table has been created, ZSFP MAKT. And we see that the extraction process, the consumer and fetchers have been created. Let's see these different objects. Within the extraction process, I see the different uh, fields and I can start an extraction process from the SAP ERP to Snowflake. I can set up the package size and a few different items, and I can execute it. I'll execute it in the background immediately, and when I click on Save, it actually starts my job. I can go and monitor that job in the Request Monitor, and we see a small track here showing that the job is now ongoing, replicating data to Snowflake. If I refresh the screen, I see that they have replicated 214,000 rows. I can now select that data in Snowflake via select star uh, limit 10, and I see MAKT being replicated in Snowflake. Once I have that data in a row layer, I can transform it. In this example, I will create a dynamic table within the transform.ecc.modulemaster. I set a target lag of one hour and data will be refreshed every one hour. I set up a few different transformations. First, I change the name of 
uh, columns. And then I have a few different case statements which allow me to edit the data. So this is creating a basic semantic layer in the sense that I rename these columns and I change some of the data to make it more consumable, as well as joining MAKT with MARA, the material master. And I set up a few filters. For example, I only take the E language, English, and I only take client 800. We can select everything from the results of this dynamic table. And we see that I have material descriptions, I have the client 800, and I have a lot of different data about my material master. Create a date, create a buy, and a lot of different data points, such as the industry, the material type. As well as uh, the gross weight or net weight. And what I could do with this is very easily visualize it in Snowflake, the net weight and material description. And now I get a weight per material and I get the heaviest 100 materials, which can be very simply visualized within Snowflake. Now that my replication pipeline is set up, as well as a simple transformation set up in Snowflake, I can monitor all this within the UI. I see this one hour target lag on my dynamic table. Let's see how it looks in the SnowSight UI. Within the row database, I can find the ECC schema and the row tables. So the one that I just replicated is MAKT. And then within the transform database, the ECC schema, I find my dynamic table. Within the refresh history tab, I can see all the information about past refreshes, as well as the refresh we just did a few minutes ago. In summary, SMP Glue allows me to replicate very simply data from SAP to Snowflake, and then I can transform it with Snowflake native objects.